Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about wrapping the rib cage. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Today we're gonna put some the wrapping paper of the TheraBand around our rib cage and the Wonder Chair. So this is easier to have a teacher doing this for you, but I'm going to attempt to do it my, myself. This will be funny. All right, so you put the TheraBand around your mid-back, you cross in the front, right? And this is gonna take a lot of skill to do this. All right, and then I'm gonna wrap the TheraBand around the front, really cinching it, bringing it to the back, crossing it in the back, so I'm right there at my bra line, and then I'll bring it around to the front. You have to have a very long TheraBand, and then, good, and I'm ready to go under the Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, so here, I'm gonna wrap my arms around the um, one to chair poles, and what I'm trying to avoid is pushing into the front of the TheraBand. So I'm really making sure that I have all this tactile feedback right in my mid-back. And it's, it's hard to stay in my center here. So I really have to pull my intestines back and up, fill up my thoracic spine, and then from there start to press into my feet, down and up, but standing tall into my spine as I do this. So again, this, as we've talked about in previous episodes, this is going to be really beneficial for that client who loves to spill forward, loves to collapse into the lumbar spine and splay the rib cage. All right, this is going to teach them, it's going to give them that second teacher of the TheraBand in the back of their body, teaching them how to breathe back and up as the feet go down, not falling forward, and then keep restoring that back and up as the legs come back up. This is really nice, and then of course you can go into all of the, the different foot patterns, but this really helps a client who has a hard time feeling where their center is. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.